Hello everyone, here with another manga update. I'm going to start with stuff I got for a dollar. So, first up is Bokurano Hours Volume 1. And I've never heard of this series before, but it looks interesting. It seems like these kids get to pilot this mech thing. And, uh, I don't really know what it's about, but it looks interesting. And it was a dollar, so I picked it up. And I also got the second volume for a dollar as well. And, uh, yeah. The art style is pretty, uh, unique and different. And, I don't know. Let's see how it is. Next up is Ikigami. Now, uh, I've heard good things about this. And I probably would have gotten it even if it wasn't on sale for a buck. But, yeah, it looks really good and I can't wait to read it. So, yep, there's that. And next is Chrono Crusade Volume 1. And I don't know much about this series. I've heard of it, but I don't really know anything about it. So, I don't know. It's a buck. Next up is Samurai Deeper Kyo Volume 30. And this is, I don't know, these are, this is a volume that is quite a bit ahead of where I am, so. And then I also got 31 of Samurai Deeper Kyo. Samurai Deeper Kyo is pretty good. It gets uh, labeled as a ripoff of, like, a Rurouni Kenshin, but after you get after, through the first uh, couple volumes, it gets quite a bit different. Uh, next is Get Backers 13, Get Backers 14, Get Backers 15, Get Backers 16, Get Backers 18, Get Backers 19, Get Backers 20, Get Backers 21, and Get Backers 24. Now these were all a dollar, so I was really pumped and got them all, and Get Backers is great, so I was psyched to get this. And I can't wait to read it. I gotta fill in a couple of spots, but I can't turn down all those volumes that I needed for a dollar. I just got every number of volume I didn't have that they were offering, and I'll fill in the gaps. It shouldn't be too hard. Alright, next is stuff I uh, got from eBay, and that's for uh, Subasa 1. Subasa Volume 2. It's by Clamp. Uh, Subasa Volume 3. I don't know anything about this series. I had a couple of other volumes, just random volumes I had for a dollar. Like this one, Volume 4. This is going to be a uh, duplicate. But I got these really cheap. They were. eBay was around. Total was around a buck a buck. Volume 5. Covers for Subasa are pretty badass. I don't know what any of this means, but Volume 6. Volume 7. Apparently there's characters from other series by Clamp, but I haven't read much about read much Clamp stuff. Volume and Volume 8. I've just read uh, Chobits think. I don't know. And next up is some other just kind of random volumes. Volume 5 of Hikaru no Go. It's a fantastic series. I would recommend anyone read it. It's for all ages. Hikaru no Go Volume 6. Yeah, the characters are really interesting and 
likable. All right, next up is a series I've wanted to read for quite a while. Old Boy, Volume 1. Now, this art style is, I don't know, it's very different. It reminds me of kind of American comics almost. Like, uh, I don't know why I get that feeling, but I do. It, it seems like this would be more suitable in color than in uh, black and white, but it's too early to judge on uh, how I like it. Because uh, not a lot happened in the first volume, but I have volume 3. Volume 2 is on the way. This one's still sealed. I got this from uh, Amazon for $5 brand new from Amazon. So if you all want to read Old Boy, I'd suggest picking that up real, real cheap. Next is Gunslinger Girl, the second omnibus, which has volumes 4 through 6. Uh, I like Gunslinger Girl a lot. It's about, um, little girls who had kind of tragic backgrounds, and to save their lives, they, uh, like a Italian government agency, transformed them into, uh, cyborgs. So now, them and their, uh, partners, uh, complete um, missions for the Italian government. It's really good. I suggest checking it out. And also is Book of Human Insects by Osamu Tezuka. And uh, this kit just came yesterday. And I picked it up because it's on sale on Amazon right now for I believe it's like $12, $13. When normally it's, I think it's, it's supposed to retail for like 25 so it's half off um, on Amazon right now, so I picked it up. And it's the whole series, so hardcover, nice cover, uh, yeah, so I'll read that and uh, let you know what I think. Alright, next up, almost done, is... Azumanga Daio, the Omnibus. It's kind of beat up. The cover is kind of beat up. There's a little wrinkles right here and I don't know, some bends. But the pages are all perfect and I got this really cheap on Amazon for like I think it was eight or nine bucks. So I've wanted to read this series for a while. It's a four panel comic. So I right hear it's pretty funny and I don't know. It's the whole series, so it's another completed series. And lastly is Vagabond Volume 6. Um, I haven't had a chance to read this yet, but I can tell it's going to be fantastic because I love Vagabond. It's one of the best series, in my opinion, and there is no rival when it comes to art. I mean, Yep, sure, it's, uh, I don't know, it's fantastic. I don't know what else to say about Vagabond other than buy it and read it. Alright, so that's it. It's quite a bit. I think it's around 30 volumes. I just got back from uh, spring break, so I haven't had time to read much. This kind of was uh, all in the mail for me when I got back, so good things. Let me know what you think about these series. If uh, you like these series, or Book Rano, I've never heard of that. Has anyone ever read that? And let me know if I should uh, get more, if it changes, or anything like that. Anyway, until next time, bye.